Hello, it's Ryan Tierney here. A lot of people have been asking me what the flowboard is. So we have a flowboard here and we got the idea from Lexus in Japan. So really what the flowboard is, it's a teaching and training tool. So the main purpose of the flowboard is to ed educate people on flow and the importance of flow and how a process should follow a pattern and a system. So if, we, if we're starting up here, when I'm adding value at this stage, I'm, auto I'm straight away thinking of the next stage. So the learning here is to connect your body and your brain. Your brain should always be ahead of your hands. When I'm doing this process, I'm already thinking of here. But when I'm wrapping around this process, I'm already thinking here. So my brain is ahead of my body all the time. So this is what we would call good flow. So if you can watch my hand carefully, there's really good flow. There's no stoppages, no blockages. The process is flowing. Everything should be like a ballerina dance. Everything should be flowing to the customer all the time. No stoppages, no blockages, perfect flow. Okay, so that's the first thing, the importance of flow and having a process that flows. So the next key learning here is that flow on its own is okay, but you need flow in conjunction with speed. So I'm gonna do an example of me going too fast. So this is too, too fast, too much speed. Okay, so I'm trying to go too fast. There's too much speed and there's poor flow. If we manufacture products at the rate of the first version of flow, the company won't make money. It's too slow, there's not enough speed. So it's speed in conjunction with flow. So I'm gonna show you an example of good speed with good flow. When we manufacture products at this rate, it's sustainable, everyone can keep it up. If we go too fast, we create defects. If it's too slow, we don't make money. The learning here is speed in conjunction with flow. So the next key learning that we use the flow board for is value versus non-value. And this is a massive takeaway if you can internalize what I'm just about to show you. So value is only created when a product is changing. So when the actual rope, we're gonna call it value when the rope wraps around the peg, okay? So value, non-value, 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 value, okay? Non-value, 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 value, non-value. So all this waste in between, is what we're trying to eliminate. Again, value, non-value, non-value, value, non-value, 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 value, non-value, 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 value, okay? Non-value, non-value, value, non-value, and a bit of value at the end. So the key learning here again is that the value, if you come close here, the value is only the, the size, the length of rope that wraps around the peg. So if this is the amount of rope that wraps around the peg, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pegs. Well, look at the length of this rope. Look how big this rope is. This rope is like nine meters long, but the value, and this is the key, the value is probably this distance, but 90% of everything we do is waste, and the value is a very small proportion compared to the whole process. So we use this board to teach the, the importance of value versus non-value. So if we were going to make an improvement to this process, so if we can call it five steps, one, two, three, four, five steps in a process, for us to make an improvement, we could use this. This could be one, two, three, four, five. So the value is the same, but the, the non-value has reduced massively. Look at the length of the rope because we brought the pegs closer together. We could improve this again. We could put these pegs in these other holes and really improve the process. But the key here is our biggest wins and our biggest gains are reducing the non-value, not reducing the value. Okay, so the last learning here is the importance of following standard work. So we should be able to read this standard and carry out this process efficiently without any defects. So a key learning here is educating people on the importance of following a standard and the importance of having a standard process in place for everything that we do. So I hope you found this video beneficial. So the four key learnings are the importance of flow, the importance of flow in conjunction with speed, the third thing is value versus non-value, and the fourth learning is the importance of following a standard and having standard work in place. So we really hope you enjoyed this video. Play this video at your morning meetings, educate your people in flow, and you'll be amazed at the improvements that will come from the understanding of flow.